So on this episode of 585 Garage, we're gonna drive Rusty Ricky all the way to Buffalo just to get chicken wings. Mm, I can't wait for that. Right now the wheels and tires are down at the shop getting mono. We have brand new tires going on the truck. Uh, it's gonna be lit, literally. We decorated with uh, lights and bows and all these shenanigans. There's even a wreath on the back. <laughs> and uh, I, I'll be honest, I can't even take credit. It was all Carter's idea and I love it. Um, so we got a couple more things to do. We rebuilt most of the brake system on the truck last night. We bled all the brakes. We just have to check the master cylinder to make sure we aren't bleeding the master dry. We're gonna do an oil change real quick. Then we're gonna throw the wheels and tires back on and we're gonna hit the road. Um, we also painted the wheels um, and yeah. they look pretty good. So I can't wait to get all this moving and uh, we'll catch up with you guys when we hit the road. So right in here, see this little tab thing. There's supposed to be a spring there. Um, that's no bueno. There's nothing to push this back, which basically helps for uh, holding this on to this down here, which is the adjuster, which is pretty much, yeah, like rusted to both pads. So we're gonna fix that with some new goodie parts. And then uh, up here, if you look, you can see this side of this bar, this is a bar in here, and it's got a notch and it fits over this tab. And that's where it's supposed to be. Now on this other end, there's a similar notch. And, well, that's supposed to be there, not inside of here. So that's uh, also gonna be fixed. Hence why we probably had really bad braking ability with this, so yeah. Let's continue. So right now, we are removing the wheel cylinder and the purpose for that is because they're really rusty and crusty and we can't bleed the back brakes. So rather than fight with a rusty brake bleeder, um, rather just replace a part for 13 bucks. So what this does is when brake fluid uh, builds pressure, so when you step on the brake pedal, uh, pressure is applied through the line via brake fluid to this, which has cylinders inside of it. Those in turn push out, pushing these little pieces against the brake shoes, which they're shoes, not necessarily called pads, but shoes with drum brakes. And then the, pad, the, the, the shoes themselves go out against the brake drum. So this big thing here inside of it is actually where the brakes are applied. So uh, since this is considered now a faulty part, we're gonna replace it and clean everything up, make sure it all works properly and get rocking and rolling. Earlier that day, we brought the wheels to be baked and sandblasted, which meant we had to put a coat of primer on them so they wouldn't rust. down at the shop getting mono. We have brand new tires going on the truck. So under the heading of sometimes things don't go as planned, we got the tires and wheels mounted together. We were putting them on the truck. I walked out to the Ram 
to grab it and I heard a hissing noise. And the valve stem was not seated correctly. Whether it is our fault or the guy that did it, we don't know, but it is definitely an issue. Um, so we will keep you guys updated as to how we plan to fix it. So since our valve stem was leaking, we're held that determined on making it the buffalo fine. We need some wings. Yeah. We're doing something that we probably really should not do, nor do we know if it'll work. But we have put Oodles amount of gray RTV around the valve stem, and we're now rapid curing it with a hair dryer just to see. Well, we're gonna see if it works. And yeah, we're all about proving things right or wrong. Yeah, we're trying to do right things the very wrong way, but mission accomplished at the end of the day, hopefully. So, we'll see. And also, let the record show that this was not my idea, but I'm willing to go along with it because I'm not. I take full credibility for this idea. And it's possible failure. failure. Yeah, if it fails, <laughs> and, uh, it might end up on the side of the road without a spare, but. That's crazy. That's deeply disappointing to be honest. Of course. Of course after putting all this work into the truck and putting new wheels and tires on it, we had to figure out if the four wheel drive worked. It's in four-wheel drive, it just doesn't have lock. Ricky's awesome! Ricky's bouncy as hell! <laughs> so last time we had Ricky out, we failed bad. We never made it to Buffalo. We didn't even make to go get chicken wings. And since then, we found some more things wrong with the truck, and we don't feel confident driving it to Buffalo anymore. We're still gonna send it somewhere. We're still gonna send it. We're still gonna get chicken wings from uh, a place that originated in Buffalo. We figured that was as good as any. Um, so you're going to see that right now. You holding your phone? Are you holding it? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Alright, are you ready? We're going to go full lockup or what? What? We left Marks? <laughs> oh god, this truck is so much fun. So we made it to Duff's. They brought us a bucket for all of our bones. Um, so we were gonna try to make it to Buffalo, but we don't trust Ricky going that far, especially because we found a problem that um, we'll tell you a little, about a little later. We don't call him Rusty Ricky for nothing. So. Yeah. so with that said, we're gonna deal with that a little later, but we're gonna go on in a little bit of an adventure in the meantime. Um, but before we do that, we're gonna have lunch. Ready? 
dink it, and then sink it. So on the last video, I mentioned you can't make this stuff up. See this puddle right here? For like four weeks, we've been like, we can't figure out where the oil's coming from from underneath this truck. It's just not possible. There's no way that clear, clean, beautiful, look at this, oil is coming out of this truck, right? There's no way. You can see it's leaking down. I go, hey, wait a minute. Don't we have spare oil in the cab we right can. here? We poked a hole in it by accident and it started leaking everywhere. Like, thus, that's so thus, sad too, look at this. It's brand new. Even, the seal's not even cracked. Brand new. We bought it actually for hiccup when we were down south because we thought we were going to do an oil change. There you go. Look at that pinhole. Failure. So we figured it out, but like I said, you can't make this stuff up. Dumb stuff happens to us all the time. And that's why we're here. So we can record it and you can laugh at our pain and agony. So apparently, when Amazon runs out of stock, where do they go? The originals. <laughs> so Carter and I decided that Ricky really wasn't fast enough. He didn't have enough speed stickers on him. So we got this. It's not exactly a speed sticker, but we figured stickers at horsepower so we're picking up what are we thinking two and a half horsepower to the tire seven. so oh we're picking up seven with this um wi-fi new technology wi-fi is to that new technology that so we're picking up seven horsepower to the tire because wi-fi is new technology so we're gonna make that happen right now and uh we'll catch up with you when we're running nines with ricky so here we are we are open for business we have wi-fi and thrush available yes <laughs> if this works, we are velcroing our surround sound radio uh, to the dash because every time we take off from a light, not even hard, it just yard sails itself onto the seat or the floor somewhere. It's kind of dangerous, so we're going to secure it a little bit better. It's actually sticking okay. Put some Velcro on there now. Put a piece on the dash. And Why did you put it off center? Because I'm OCD and I don't want to cover up the. Okay, that's a good enough reason. You know. Seriously, how many laughs have we had in this pile of a truck? Probably more than we've had in the Ram. And we spent way less time in Ricky than we have ever spent in the Ram. And way less money. Absolutely. Oh, did we mention the exhaust fell off the header on the passenger side? So I'm like actively going deaf, like, right now. What? The exhaust fell off of Ricky, and we're running an open header on the passenger side. Still gonna send it, and it is okay with us.
on this episode, our goals were to get Ricky back on the road here, get him some decent tires, give him a little bit of a tune-up, uh, drive to Buffalo and get some wings, and then finally spread some Christmas spirit here. And we did all of those things except for we never made it to Buffalo. But we did make some noise and spread a lot of Christmas cheer. Absolutely. Open headers is what I would call Christmas cheer. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. So, at the very least, we had some delicious wings, spread some Christmas cheer. So this is actually like our Christmas special a little bit. I know it didn't really seem like much. Um, and we have a lot in store for you next year. 2020 is going to be insane if we can even pull off half the stuff we've talked about. And I think we're both pretty excited. Oh, yeah. So we will catch up with you in 2020. Deliver these. Oh, yeah. Let's make that happen. <laughs>